and welcome to a special edition of Cracking the Cryptic where I'm going to be on cryptic crossword duty. Now the last time I did a cryptic crossword video on the channel was to do Dave Gorman, the comedian's puzzle, um, which appeared in one of our British newspapers. Now I've just been alerted to the fact that a brilliant, brilliant comedian, Steve Pemberton, who appears and writes such fantastic programs as Inside Number no. 9, has also constructed a cryptic crossword recently. Um, this is the crossword on screen now. He calls it Summer Crossword um, uh, by Sphinx, which is his pseudonym. And this really rang a bell with me because The Riddle of the Sphinx is an episode of Inside Number Nine. Now, if you haven't seen it and you are a fan of cryptic crosswords, go and look it up. It is just the most brilliant half an hour you will spend watching TV. It's incredibly clever. It has a lot of um, interesting insights into how to solve cryptic crosswords. And it's just, it's just a masterpiece, an absolute masterpiece. So when I got pointed in the direction of this puzzle, I've got to have a go at it. So that's why we're doing this today. Now, as usual, what I'll do, I'll just try and solve the puzzle and I'll try and talk through the clues as we go and we shall see what we shall see. Um, uh, yeah, with that, let's get cracking. Um, now, what I'll also do, by the way, is I'll put a link under the video uh, to Steve's uh, Twitter where he published this puzzle. So if you want to go and have a go, you can. You should be able to find the puzzle there. Now, let's have a look. One across. Film back of film back of railway where French are topless. Yes, but. Three, four, four, four. I have no idea. Let's go on to the next one. Eight. Aroused desperate man. Grand old queen asked if Italian clown will do this. No clue at all. Nine across. Getting on a horse astride one in the black forest. Ah, now this is a clever clue. The answer to this clue, well, let me tell you what the definition is first. As usual in a cryptic crossword clue, the definition is either at the beginning or the end. It's very often the case. Here it's the words getting on. A horse, a short synonym for a horse, you sometimes see nag, but sometimes you also see a gg. <laughs> and that's what we need here. We need to put a gg. Oh, I don't, I'm not used to this software, sorry. A gg, a stride, one in the back, Black Forest. So if you were, what is the German translation for the word one? Well, it's ein or einer, but here we just need ein. And if we put that in the middle of a gg, um, we get aging, which means getting on. Beautiful clue. Um, ten across. Let's go on to that. Maybe I should. Maybe I should use the downs, but quite often I like to just go acrosses then downs. Um, it said use pursue gambling sheep to ancient city. Okay. Um, I see. Right. So this one we need a homophone for use. Looks like it might be referring to sheep, but whenever you see it's said in a cryptic crossword, it means we need to listen to how the word sounds and try and spell it in a different way. And use, well, that sounds like the letter U, and the plural, if we had more than one U, we would have use like that. Gambling sheep is a nice way of saying we're going to anagram the word sheep. Now, if we do that correctly, we can create the word Ephesus, which is an ancient city comes up in crosswords more than in any other context, I think. Um, house beverages suitable for children. Mm, don't know. I don't know what that is, but suitable for children. You quite often see that uh, signifying the word U or the letter U, because that's what you'd see on film classification. Uh, obviously, any any film that's labeled U is suitable for children. So that might end in U. Let's look at seven down food stuff thrown up every so often through ignominy ignomin, ignomy ah this is a clever clue as well look the answer here we're looking for is a food stuff that fits into this seven letters long and thrown up every so often this is a down clue so if you reverse the string of letters through ignomy ignomy i still can't say it properly and you take regular letters out. So if we just take, so if we take the first letter, it would be a Y, and then the third would be an O, the fifth would be a G, Go, keep going backwards, H, U, R, T. So if we take the odd letters, the regular letters um, in this phrase, having reversed it because it's a down clue, 
we can make the word yogurt. I'm having trouble seeing my keyboard. I need more light. Um, oh, that, so that does that. It confirms the U and gives us a T in 15 across. Great clue, but not right. <laughs> it's a good surface. I mean, the way I read the clue is we're looking for a six letter word that means great. We're looking for a, probably a seven letter word for a clue and we're going to remove an R from that. Mm, but I don't know it. Um, let's go back to 13 across. We've got underground line, the sailors followed, capsized on river. Uh, ah, okay, I have got that. And the way I've got that is the sailors. Um, now, bear in mind, good cryptic crossword clue writers very rarely use anything superfluous in a clue. So let's think about what the word the is doing in this clue. Does it improve? Uh, is it needed to change the surface meaning? Underground line sailors followed would mean almost exactly the same as underground line the sailors followed. So that the is in there for a reason. It's part of the wordplay and in fact here it's just it's just plain. It just goes into the clue here. The sailors Royal Navy follow capsized on river so if we capsize uh, <laughs> yeah if we capsize on we reverse it that just gives us no river that's r put all that together and we get northern which is of course an underground line the black line you'll find on a, a london underground map is the northern line i had many unfortunate years of having to commute on the northern line or the black snot line as it was uh, unpleasantly known um now let's carry on 15 16 turn a little republic into country no not sure what that means 18 safety device left electrical unit succeeding five in 24 hours no, not sure. 21. Shady upstart trashed ruse mob. Well, trashed ruse mob is shouting anagram. Ah, OK. So I do know the answer to this. This is an unusual clue. Some crosswords won't allow this. Upstart here is saying take the start of the word upstart, which is a U. Um, now, sometimes people don't like that because upstart is one word and you're not are you actually saying the start of the word you um, but a lot of places allow it so we've got you plus an anagram of ruse mob and I think we can make umbrus which sounds to me like it must mean um, uh, shady now I'm really struggling to enter the letters here but never mind umbrus 22 across, gravelly singer tossed match in well. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. Restore ailing judge. No. Two tablets to keep still the rabid canines. Ah, ah, I have got this one. So this means canines. Two tablets. The way to think about a tablet Whenever you see that in a crossword, you might be tempted to think of an iPad or something like that, but most often it's a tablet of E, the drug ecstasy. Um, now, two tablets, so what we need there is E and E. I've just got to keep, uh, how's that? Oh, I see. Yeah, so two tablets are keeping still, a word for still, a short synonym, yet. So the two tablets keep the word yet, and then we get the rabid. Now that's saying an anagram of the word rabid. And if we do that properly, we get eye teeth, which are canines. Very nice. 27 across. Uh, he helmed this Malta novel. That must be an anagram as well. Oh, that's a brilliant clue. That is a brilliant clue. So this is sort of a semi and lit. The definition here, believe it or not, is, well, it's really the whole, cl whole clue. It's he helmed this Malta novel, which means he wrote this Malta novel in this case. Um, and helmed this Malta 
is 15, 15 letters. And if we anagram, if we make those letters novel, we rearrange them, well, we can get the person, I think, who wrote the Maltese Falcon. Is that Dashiell Hammett? I think it is. That's what I'm going to write in. I'm never very good at spelling this. I think it's... I think it's like that. E double T, I think. We're going to have to bear in mind I might have spelt this wrong at the bottom of the grid. So if we get some clashes in the downs, we shall revisit that. Oh, that this one, 14 down, that must be Hoi Polloi. Let's have a look at the clue. First person to canvas in Ohio. Well, the masses are the Hoi Polloi, so that looks good. First person to canvas in Ohio stirred up. Ah, yes, OK. So we've got an anagram of Ohio. Uh, Ohio stirred up is telling us that. And we've got I pole, as in you take a pole you, um, in the middle of um, that anagram. And that's how that clue works. So we got managed to get that just from the checking letters. Let's carry on though, doing them in order. One down. Expression of annoyance choking newspaper editor over new conservative describing this grid. Well, I have no idea what that is. Let's move on. Two down. Cowboy managed singer. Ah, I can do that one. So we're looking for the name of a cowboy. Um, not a proper noun, um, just a, a, another word for a cowboy. What's a short synonym for the word managed? That's ran. If you manage something, you run it. In the past tense, you get ran. Oh, that H is moving out of Ephesus. But now we need a four letter word for a singer. And here we're looking for share. And we get put those together. We get rancher, ran share. Um, three down. Old Eastern European served up eggs. Ah, OK, right. So old is O. An Eastern European served up. It's a down clue, so we reverse it. If we reverse the word Slav, we get ovals, which are certainly eggs. Egg shapes are ovals. Four down. No going back after film school. Right, well, the most common film that comes up in cryptic crosswords, because it's so useful, is the Steven Spielberg classic E.T. And if no goes back, if it reverses after E.T., we get Eton, which is certainly the name of a school. So this has become interesting. Now, let's have a quick look at eight across again with an O at the end. Aroused desperate man, grand old queen, asked if Italian clown will do this. Oh, this is a this is brilliant. This is a brilliant, brilliant clue. I love it. Oh, my goodness. So this this clue is full of surprises. Um, right. So <laughs> the definition, believe it or not, is queen asked if Italian clown will do this. That uh, you can see Queen there does not have a capital letter. I think arguably it should have. Um, but I, I will let uh, Steve away with this because this clue is brilliant. Um, arouse. If you arouse something, you fan you as in fan the flames. Desperate man. Well, that's referring to desperate Dan. Famous from the comic book, the dandy. Fandang. Grand is G. O is old. Put that all together. Fandango. So what's the definition referring to? Well, I think it's referring to Bohemian Rhapsody, where Queen uh, asks, will you do the Fandango? And they ask it to the Italian clown. So I'll have to remember the lyrics to remember. Uh, oh, God, I'm not going to remember, am I? Do the Fandango, Thunderbolt 90, very, very Bismillah. Bis Oh, I don't, I don't remember. But anyway, Fandango is certainly correct, and it is a reference to Bohemian Rhapsody. And for that reason, that clue gets a huge thumbs up in my, uh, in my estimation. So let's, uh, maybe I should look at one down again. Now we've got, oh, the expression of annoyance, and that one and sixteen down. That looks like it's something like fifteen. Describing this grid. 15 squared. Most blocked crosswords that appear in um, British broadsheets are 15 by 15. So I think this is 15 squared. Now let's try and put that in and then work out why it's 15 squared. 
Expression of annoyance, choking newspaper editor. Over new conserv... Oh, right, so conservative here is a square. If someone's conservative, they are a square. So we've got over... So new will be this N. Ah, right, now I understand the clue. Gosh, this is tricky. So an expression of a... Of a Annoyance is phi, as in fee, phi, fo, fum, f i e. That's choking, it's surrounding f t, which is a newspaper, the Financial Times. And then editor is e d, this e d, I think. Uh, oh no, this e d, because phi is f i e, that one. And then this e d is choking n square for the rest of it. So that's how the clue works. And something that describes this grid would certainly be 15 squared. So this one must be doable now. One across. Film. So it's going to be, oh, it could be far from, no, I wondered about far from the Madding crowds, far too many. Film, uh, film back of railway where French are topless. Yes, but. For your eyes only. Uh, that must be the name of the film. So let's put it in and see if we can understand it. For you, oh no, no, it's all going wrong. For your eyes only. So how is this working? We've got back of railway. I can see the back of railway could be a Y or it could actually be... Oh, Ah, right. No, I do understand this. This is, this is also very tricky. Back of is saying reverse, turn back the word of. That gives us F-O. Railway, R-Y. Where, French. Well, the French word for where is O-U. O -U. R topless is the word R without its top, without its first letter. That gives us R-E. Yes is plain text. And but is only, and put all that together, you get for your eyes only, the brilliant, brilliant Bond film. Um, now, okay, now that gives us some good letters as well. Look, this one, signature maybe, five down. Witness a politician following times, for example. Ah, it's not, no, it's not signature, it's signatory. So... A Tory, I certainly get that for a politician. Witness is a signatory. And Times, for example, for sign. Is that because you get a sign of the Times? Or it could be a, like a multiplication sign, I guess, which would be a Times. So I'm not sure it's one of those, but sign A Tory is definitely how the wordplay is working. And a witness is a signatory. Six down, lack of experience, naivety. See Scotsman mounting, yes, Ian reversed. Ian is the classic Scotsman for cryptic crosswords. Warhorse ending in catastrophe. Right, the ending in catastrophe is E, that's that. And a warhorse is a vet, as in a veteran. Um, so naivety goes in here. Oh, this one. Oh, this was our children one. 11, house beverages suitable for children. Chateau. Ah, so a cup of char, so and, and then a cup of tea. So we get two beverages, both the same beverages, char and tea, followed by suitable for children, you. Put all that together, chateau, which is a house. Lovely. Um, 12 down. Have I looked at that? No. Horrid noise from the south in home. Right, okay. So in the home counties, if you ever see this in a cryptic crossword, it's referring to the southeast of England. So in southeast is saying put the SE southeast around the outside of something. Noise from the south, the most common short synonym for noise at cryptic crosswords is the word din. Reverse that in SE, we get snide, which means horrid. Now, have I looked at all the clues now? Oh no, I haven't looked at some of these down ones, 17 down. No, I've not looked at this at all. Uh, cryptic puzzle, keeping very loud bats away. <laughs> um, right, okay, very loud. If you see that in cryptic crosswords, FF, what you might see in musical scores to refer to, is it fortissimo? Um, 
and Rebus is a cryptic puzzle. So re Rebus around FF gives rebuffs, which means bats away. 19 down. Kath not about to Kath not about to hire drug runner. Kath not about. Kath not about is screaming anagram at me, but obviously we've got two E's in the clue. Oh no, this is a this is a great clue. This is a beautiful clue again. Kath not about is saying take uh, a letter that can mean about which is the letter C, because C can stand for circa. Now, if you take the word cath and you remove the, the C from it, you get ass. Hire, if you hire something, you let it. And my, def my spelling of Dashiell Hammett is still working at the moment, that's good. And then drug, well, this is another reference to ecstasy, so E, so ass, let E, put that all together, you get athlete, which is not a drug runner. We don't want drug runner. We've used drug in the in the wordplay. We want just a runner, which is an athlete. Lovely, lovely clue. 20 down. Make good use of broadcast medium. No idea. Even ratchet. Make good use of. I'm not sure. Uh, 30, 23 down. Pole dancing temptress loses urge but gains love. Pole dancing temptress. Siren? Looks like, actually, it looks like it might be totem. You get a totem pole. Oh, no, this... It is totem. Pole dancing is not the definition. It's pole, um, which, of course, is signalling uh, the word totem. So totem is the answer. And then how does the, how does the word play work? Well, dancing temptress is saying dance the letters of the word temptress. But from that, we need to lose the, a word that means urge, which is press. So if we anagram temptress without the letters of press, and then gain love. Now, love is zero very often in, in cryptic crosswords. Um, love score in tennis is a zero score. Then we get totem. So totem is the answer there. 24 is the last. Gove illegally concealed mask. <laughs> OK, well, that's a very easy clue, but it's quite a good surface given um, the current situation in the world. I think it's a reference to Michael Gove, the politician. Gove illegally concealed. Well, if concealed within the letters of Gove illegally, you can see spelt out in order the word veil, which of course means mask. So we have, we've made good progress actually. We're not doing too badly. Let's let's go back to this one. 15 across, great clue. Oh, this was the... Moment, moment? is that... No. Cogent? Great. Po potent. Potent is what we're after. Potent and portent. A portent is, of course, a clue. And then if we move, remove the R from that, the right, we get potent, which means great. This one, 16 across. Turn a little republic into country. Serbia? Serbia certainly fits. It's the name of a country. Turn a little republic. Turn a, a... So if we turn A plus a little. Turn a little republic into... I'm not sure about that, actually. That... I suspect that's Serbia, but I can't quite understand why. Let's move on. Safety device left electrical unit. Ah, oh, left electrical unit is L amp, isn't it? Look, this is some sort of lamp succeeding. Davy lamp. Davy lamp is, um, I think that's one of those lamps that they used to take down mines, isn't it? Where you try not to ignite gas because the 
I don't know. I, I've heard, certainly heard of a Davy lamp. Don't ask me exactly what the what its uses are. Uh, oh, that. So profit would go in here now. Twenty down. Make make good use of broadcast medium. Ah, lovely. This is a homophone again. If you broadcast something, you say it. So it's a how would if you say the word profit, P R O F I T. If you make good use of something, you profit from it. If you say if you spell that differently, we can make profit, which is a medium, um, as in somebody who can tell the future. Oh, so this one must be doable. Oh, this is our gravelly Satchmo. Louis Armstrong makes an appearance. Here he is. So we've got tossed match. Yes. Okay. So we've got in well. A word for well, a short synonym, is so. If we anagram the word match because we toss it in the middle of so, we get Satchmo, which of course is the nickname of Louis Armstrong. Um, now that one. 25. Restore. Refill? Ailing judge. Oh, ref ill. A judge is a ref, as in a referee. Um, an ailing judge is a ref ill. I mean, ailing judge, ref ill. I mean, I think it's right. I might have given that clue a question mark. And then back to our Serbia clue. Turn a little republic into country. Oh, no, it's not Serbia. Ooh, I could have made a bad error there. It's Spain. It's the word Spain for country. And a little republic is saying take a little of the word republic. Well, the least you could take would be the first letter. That's this R. And if we put R in Spain, we get sprain, which is turn. You might turn your ankle or sprain your ankle. What a great crossword. Absolutely love that. And Fandango, that is just oh now i'm gonna to have to what is the italian clown that's really going to annoy me and then goes very i can't remember the bit before it nothing really matters to me anyway the wind goes, oh, i'm not going to i'm not going to do it it's going to be too embarrassing but steve i really really enjoyed that i hope you enjoyed watching me muddle like muddle my way through it and we'll be back soon well later on tonight with a sudoku edition of cracking the cryptic <laughs>